Good morning. Welcome to Pioneer Update, a service of the Citizens Bank, a bank built for you. Uh, always good to have, might I say, Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum, Head of Curriculum, Jennifer Douglas, to uh, talk to us today about uh, kindergarten registration. We need kind of, uh, Jennifer, we need to get this done, don't we? Yes, sir. We've uh, been taking kindergarten registration for a little over a month now, and um, we've had about 190 kindergartners registered to come to Pioneer Nation in the fall. But we just want to encourage any parents who are out there who have a child that will be five by August 1st to go ahead and pre-register them for kindergarten so we can get them a spot on one of our three elementary campuses. So. They could do that on our website or on our social media page. And if they have trouble finding it, they can even just call and ask to talk to my assistant, Alicia Robertson, and she can walk them through it on the phone. Well, you give them plenty of ways to get it done. The important thing is to move forward with it and get those uh, kindergartners registered. About how many do you expect this year? Do you have any indication yet? A typical kindergarten class for us is somewhere around 250 to 255 is about what we have on average every year, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. So that's kind of what we we look for, and we like to have them registered early. Uh, We're also super excited. Uh, This summer, we're going to be able to have a Kinder Boost camp in conjunction with our actual on-site kindergarten registration where incoming kindergartners can come to our campuses and learn reading and math and kind of just get acclimated, have a nice transition into kindergarten, uh, for, especially for students who've never been able to attend preschool. And so as soon as people get pre-registered, we'll be sharing information with all of our parents that are pre-registered with all that information for the summer. Oh, man, that that's great that you all go above and beyond for that. You have a special board meeting coming up on Monday night. Personnel certainly will be talked about, but uh, also there will be other things, I would suppose. Yes, sir. I I do believe one of the things that Mr. Campbell and Dr. Hester will discuss with the board is uh, our stance on the governor's announcement about wearing masks on campus. And so after that board meeting, I would expect that you'll be able to hear a formal um, comment or announcement from Baseball School District regarding the mask mandate. And, you know, I was just thinking about another one of those mandates is uh, computer science, but really you have somebody on staff that's uh, certified to teach that. We do. We have um, one of our high school teachers is certified in computer science, and so each year we take our students through a CAT process with their mentor, and they sign up for the classes they want, and then their parents sign off on that, and so... uh, we sit down with the high school principal and her support staff, and they develop their classes. So as we offer those classes. We do have someone on staff who can teach computer science classes. And, you know, I was just thinking, it's not like all of a sudden they say, bang, you've got to have it in high school, you've got to have it in junior. Uh, there's a process that you kind of step yourself into it, right? Yes, sir. We already embed coding. Um, in, it's called Key Code mm-hmm. in some of our junior high classes. And um, we offer some electives in those areas. And at high school, we have uh, some robotics classes. But we do have staff in place um, to expand those course offerings to uh, meet legislative requirements. Ms. Douglas, you're always, uh, it's always so good to visit with you and uh, kind of grab a hold of some of your knowledge about what's going on in the Batesville Public School System. We appreciate you and the job you do, and thanks for being with us. Thank you so much, Gary.